Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. I know I had a great day today, and that's because I achieved a goal. Now, it wasn't something huge, it wasn't something big, but it was a small goal, and I worked hard today to achieve it. And that's something that we can all do. We can all make goals, work, and get there. Consistently work to get there, right? And sometimes we set goals that seem way too big, right? Let's say I was working part-time making minimum wage, and one day I want to own a helicopter. That is such a big goal to put in place, but it's achievable. And we know where we can start with that, right? We know we can start working more hours or pick up a second job or do something to continually work at that goal. And that's the key to success, is continually working, being persistent, to achieve a goal. <clears throat> There's a really cool story about the owner of Chick-fil-A that I'd love to share with you guys. And it starts off by talking about how the owner of Chick-fil-A and his two brothers opened a small restaurant. And they didn't really have the money for it, but they did it and they wanted to make it this big restaurant that was super popular. And one day while they were working, it caught fire and it burnt down. Now, I don't know about you, but if it was just me and my two brothers in a small restaurant, having the whole thing burnt down would be really hard and probably would make me give up, honestly. But they decided not to. They rebuilt. They opened a second restaurant. But man, after not long of running that second restaurant, the three brothers all were in a plane crash. Sadly, two of the brothers died. But the owner of Chick-fil-A lived, but he received many injuries. While he was in the hospital, though, he was laying in the hospital bed and thinking about how he needed to keep going to make this restaurant a success like him and his brothers started off as their goal is to have the restaurant be a success. And he knew he had to keep working at it. And while he was laying in that hospital bed, he sat there and mixed sauces together to try and come up with a great sauce for his chicken that he was serving in his restaurant. He finally cracked the code, found the recipe that he liked, and we know that today is Chick-fil-A sauce. And I love Chick-fil-A sauce, so I'm really grateful for that. But it shows a great story of persistence. He kept working at it. His restaurant failed once, and then two of his brothers died that started this restaurant with him. And he knew he had to keep going and he kept going and it is such a success now with Chick-fil-A. And I think it's a really cool story. There's a really cool article entitled Persistence is Key. Persistence is the key to success, sorry. And it says that courageous persistence is the one quality more than any other that can guarantee success. And success is something we all want, isn't it? But to be successful takes persistence. Whether you want to lose a few pounds, get an A in a class, or any goal that you want to succeed in, you need to be persistent. It is the difference between a successful outcome and a failed one due to giving up. That is such a powerful quote. The fact that it says that it is the difference between a successful and a failed outcome shows you how important it is. If you don't want to fail, don't give up. Stay persistent and keep going. Think about a skill you have. For me, it's woodworking. But I didn't just wake up one day knowing how to woodwork and going, yeah, everything makes sense now. It took me years of working at it and figuring stuff out to finally get to the point where I can say I have a skill of woodworking. It's the same thing to me in a classroom. When I sign up for a class, I don't know all the course material. But as I work through the course and continually work through it, I gain that knowledge. Another really cool quote is titled, Persistence is the Key to Success in Our Lives. And it says that persistence separates the winners from the losers. Those who persevere understand that luck is something only failures believe in. I think that's such a cool quote. Luck is only something failures believe in. If you think of someone who's ever said, man, maybe I'll get lucky. That's because it was their last resort. They had already failed and now they were hoping they'd get lucky. 
don't hope to get lucky, guys. Go out there and work towards a dream. Set a goal and be persistent and do a little bit every day to achieve it. And that's my message for you guys that I want you to do. Go home and start working on a goal. Start doing something little every day to work towards it. And I know you guys can get there. Thank you.